Welcome to Season 1 of Gaming with Scott Presents Stargate SG-10, a Southgate Media production. Join us each week as our Stargate SG team follows a path of adventure and attempts to save the world and each other from the dangers of the universe. Starring Joshua Jackson, Kat Moran, Scott Troiano, and Cindy Bergen, with Scott Somerville running the table as Game Master. Epic adventures await just beyond this music. Got your dice ready? Nope. Don't have dice. Don't need them. Ta-da! That's fine. I don't Yeah, again, you're gonna you're gonna look for the thing that says "Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gaming with Scott." I am here with Cindy. Hello, Cat. Hello, Joshua. Howdy. I'm Scott, and we're kicking it over to Scott. Welcome back to our adventure. We rejoin our team with Captain Covington as he is taking care of a few last-minute details with his logistics team, trying to figure out what he's going to bring. Scott. <laughs> Would you care to go over that? Just a moment. <laughs> nope. Next. <laughs> okay. Master Sergeant Calhoun, you have been working with your wife as she has been trying to get the fellow immigrants settled. Before you depart, a representative from the DOD contacts you and asks if he can have a few minutes of your time. Of course. Sergeant, we understand that you've married one of the third planet nationals, I guess. Yes, sir. Very, uh, very unexpected, but going to do right by this woman. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And we'll make sure that the paperwork's taken care of you for you while you're away. We do understand your mission. <laughs> but we were wondering, this seems to be an opportunity. Would you mind if we assigned a linguist to try and teach her English? Yes, please. You would mind? <laughs> yes, sir. I'll pay for it even if you, you want. mind? No, I don't mind. I'm just saying please, but love everything that's holy. Please, yes, let's do this. All right, very well. We, we consider it a very good opportunity for more of our personnel to learn her language, but yes, we know this would be something that would be helpful to you. Thank you so much, sir. You're very welcome. Uh, one request. Can yes, we, Sergeant? Can we get her checked out by medical just to make sure nothing's... <laughs> She has done some crazy things. I want to make sure that she's healthy. I was thinking at least like an MRI. I expect that as her next of kin, we can leave that to you to communicate with your bride. <laughs> Will do. No way in hell. <laughs> uh, thank you, though, sir. Yes, I will, I'll take you up on that. You're welcome, Sergeant. I don't want to get neurosyphilis. Nobody wants neurosyphilis. I think it's a little late for that. I want to find the antibiotic I need for to not get neurosyphilis. I was going to say, did you mean to say again? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tijuana is a bit anyway. I heard neuro- neurosyphilis is actually pretty nice. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, it eats away your brain, but you're always on that like pleasure high. So if you're going to go, that's a pretty good way to go. Look at that guy. I love that symbol. All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Okay. See, I'm easy with that. (laughs) So was she. (laughs) (laughs) I know who was going for it first. (laughs) Don't you talk about my wife like that. I hear she's a nice woman. She's a nice lady. Do you want to have any last briefing with General Hammond? Uh, It's a trap. And I can tell by the way he laughed that I'm just like, all right, no, not really. I mean, if he wants me to come in, yes, I will. I mean, no, no, it's it's offered up to you as an option. Okay, no, then I'm then I'm I'm anxious to get back to make sure that the rest of the the that the other <laughs> civilian assets are. Dear God, I left them alone, and that's beginning to weigh upon me only slightly. <laughs> I wonder why. All right, you convey that to his secretary, and yeah, I'm like, holy shit. 
I left those. Oh, I gotta go. They promised the planet while I was there. I don't know what they've given away now. Moving on. <laughs> Maybe in less terms to his secretary, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna <clears throat> make Thank sure my checklist is in. complete. I'm thinking of the few times in my career where I said something <laughs> off the cuff. Okay. Yeah. No. No. I'm. Gonna, I need to double check my checklist, the exhaustively creative list that we've we've had that we've slid under the door. I've got to make sure I've got everything on it before we go, and then we'll probably need to dial back in and have you send that through as a second wave. <clears throat> So if we can make sure that we've got an airman or two that can, you know, send me the second wave of the items that I've requested, everything will be wonderful. Thank you. Hmm. All right. You dial back out and step through the gate and are welcome back to Abydos. By? By the scorching wind and enjoyable sunshine. Okay. Okay. Well, that's better than the pair of staff weapons pointed at me because <laughs> holy shnikes. No. Okay. Because I was like, I don't remember leaving people there. Who's welcoming me back? This is going to go bad. Go ahead. So what are you going to do? All right. You're there. You've got your supplies such as they are. Yes. <laughs> Exhaustively listed. Um, who's going to carry them all? Well, we're going <laughs> to split the duty. That's sweet of you. You know what, though? Very nice. Um, and we're going to head back to the city where I expect the rest of our team will be waiting with open arms and bated breath for our arrival. All right, just not to leave this quite behind yet, the amount of supplies you're carrying Mm -hmm. seems to be fairly exhaustive. Okay. (laughs) More than two people can carry. Okay, well then we're going to um, stash. Or am I incorrect in that? Oh no, you're completely correct in that. Um, She brought snowmobiles. Right? On the sand. It's not like we have a mouth. And we're, we're going to walk. So uh, we can, we're going to pi- find a corner to the inside right of the door. In other words, if we step outside, turn around and look at the gate inside to the right of the door, we're going to pack the supplies, the less than necessary um, non-munition, non-weaponry you know, items that if found and raided by anyone that we might consider enemy troops, then they're like, ooh, they got a tent and some fabric. Ooh, camo netting. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Generally speaking, what are you going to take with you? Um, water, ammo, supplies, sunscreen, um, covering, radio gear, rations, more water. Um, I have a harmonica. I know you do. Um, did we bring the wife? No. I didn't know. I thought, she oh, has, she's staying back learning she English. She has class. She has class. Right, right. Okay. So Does she still have your hat? <laughs> that was my next question. That was, I'm like, that was, <laughs> you got a harmonica, you ain't got a hat. That was my wedding gift to her? Yeah, you're yeah. never getting that back. Binoculars. We need binoculars. Binoculars. Um, Sunglasses. Radio gears, flares. Um, Sergeant Calhoun, please give me a roll on a D10. Three. Please did, note son. down that you did not make the roll. <laughs> you did, son. And the neurosyphilis <laughs> rears <laughs> its head. <laughs> we were right just outside of Barstow when the neurosyphilis kicked in, and Hunter S. That's how they pronounce his name on the on the NS. No. What? Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Thanks. That's awesome. <laughs> it was a three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Out of ten. Right. With his modifiers. I've practically sung it. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. Yeah, we'll take the camping here in the water. I'm fine. Okay. All right. What did we miss? We're wandering through the desert. What did we miss? Go ahead. Lay it on me. No. Okay, then don't no, li- it's, then, it's gonna... then don't linger. We're yeah. we're headed out to the city. No, no, I'm just making. Uh, I'm we making... didn't get it. It's perfectly yeah. fine. No, you we didn't. left it. We you left it home. Far. You didn't, and we have established that it has been noted for later. Yes. So, fine. Where are you going to go? Far. We're going back to the city. All right, go back to the city. I thought there might be a chance of you going to the mine, but no, nope, we're going to no. Nope. No, I, I don't want the discipline. The first face I don't want to see on this side is Turnus. Okay, so we're going to go to the city, and we're going to pick up the rest of our team. We're going to reunite the party 
because they'll be there with waiting arms <laughs> on the walls of the city to greet us as we return. Reunited and it feels <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You hike the roughly seven miles. Absolutely. Uneventfully through the scorching desert sun. Yay. <laughs> and you do come to the city of Nagata. Okay. No surprises. Yay. You approach the gate. Uh huh. It's gate open or close? Gate is open. Nice. All right. We're going to stroll in. All right. The locals wave at you. Hey, they are, hey. pleased to see Woo-hoo. you. Long time no the conquering heroes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Several children scamper around, seeing oh. what you've got to offer. Ah, a little piece of candy bar. We'll get a candy bar. We'll break it up in little pieces. Give them all something. A little piece of chocolate. Mm-hmm. Let them run away. It's all wonderful. I'm sure that Hershey bar is a puddle in my pocket right now, but you know I don't care about that. Here's a bullet for you. It's not good (laughs) store. Stop it. (laughs) Bullets for everyone. (laughs) We're a freaking Oprah of the military. We're not handing out bullets. Um, And I'm going to ask, where's Mo? Who are you going to ask? Oh, the uh, the kids, the people that are waving, the, hey, hi, everybody. Hey, where's Mo? Where's Mo here? Have some candy. Where's Mo? Yeah. Try to find a priest. Where's Mo? Four. Four? (laughs) Five. (laughs) Mo. Mo. FOMO. Mary Mo, Mary Mo. Oh, Mary Mo, Mary. Mary Mo. Don't marry Mo. <laughs> the kids are really excited. Okay. Uh, where's Kasuf? Ah. They huh? they drag you. There we go. Now we're getting there. Towards the central plaza. Yay. Now we're cooking with napalm. Where you're met by a priest. Okay. Which one? Jeffrey. Great. <laughs> Your favorite. Sir, isn't this the gentleman who stabbed you? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Well, attempted stabbing. Attempted. Alleged attempted stabbing. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. It wasn't. And I'm going to nod to, to Jeffrey. Jeffrey. He gives you a guarded smile. And uh, I'm going to uh, ask. I'm going to open palms. Mo. Ah. And he points. <laughs> okay, what's in the direction that he's pointing? He's pointing west. He's pointing west. What's directly to the west of his finger? Like, is it an apartment? Is it another... Building. Seating? A building. It's a building? A, okay. A bedroom. It's a close-knit city to keep right. the winds out. Right. I'm going to walk over to the building. There's a door on the side of the building that's facing us. No. And I'm... Uh, okay, then I'm going to tap it. Tap, tap. Mo. He points at the sun. He raises three fingers. He points to the west. What? <laughs> Is that three days? Maybe it's hours, sir. Could be, but that's still not any better. <laughs> no, it all sucks. Why would they leave? <laughs> Why would they... Uh, uh, where's Kasuf? He points. Three days, west, <laughs> sun, <laughs> great. <sighs> That's what we forgot, sir. Doctor. What? T- teddy bear backpack leashes for the for doctors. The, for the doctor, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. It's good. Great. It's hard to find good help these days. All right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well. Did they leave a message? He looks at you blankly. Did they write a message? I'm gonna. Is there sand in the plaza? Imagine some of it. I could at least do some sort of writing. He watches on the floor. I write out a square and put some squiggles on it. Mo, no. He points west. I I point to I point to him. I point to us. Say go find Mo and point to where he pointed. He claps his hands and calls out to two young men. And waves them over. He says something to them at length. And he gestures you to have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. All right, we sit down. All right. About 45 minutes goes by, give or take. And three pack animals are led into the square. <laughs> Great. Well, you want to find the doctors, don't you? Yes, I Sir? do. All righty. Mo? 
climb on the pack animals. All right, they're laden. Okay. So he points at the two young men. He points at you, and he points west. All righty then. We want to take extra water. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can't drink the water where you're going. <laughs> well, yeah. All yeah. Right. You yeah, know we're gonna. Um, all righty. Well then, yay, pack animals. All right. The young men lead you down towards the river where you're joined by a number of young men uh, and you do come to a ship eventually where you're led across. Your pack animals and supplies are loaded on board. Okay. They gesture for you to come on. Okay, climb up. Okay. Uh, make a roll. What am I rolling for? And D10. What am I, D10? All right. Can I steal your die? Yeah, sure. Don't roll three. <laughs> Don't breathe on it. What? You as well. It's Josh. tainted now. Six. My breathing on it doubled your roll. <laughs> Six. There you go. What'd you breathe on it? <laughs> hey, one more. Let's see what happens. You <laughs> have both served in the Middle East. You have both been along water courses. This is a very unhealthy looking place. Ugh. Okay, like... No reptiles in the water, no fish, no... Very little animal life. The plant growth is extremely stunted. It's like the Rio Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> if they were to have them in 20 years or so. Yeah. Or 30. So, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's no good. All right. You board the ship and it is rowed across. Okay. Your pack animals are taken off. And the two young men gesture for you to come on. Okay. Load them up, move them out. Okay. The young men turn south, heading into the desert. We're no longer headed west again? No, you're headed roughly southwest. They look at you with interest. They try and make conversation. Uh, are they leading these animals? Or yes, I... yes, they are leading them. Well, I want to see if I can do it. I can ride a horse. Is this thing like a horse? No, Ooh, not even it. remotely. It's <laughs> He's like, not even remotely. <laughs> Didn't they, how many child. legs they have? More like a dinosaur. Oh, oh, he can ride a dinosaur. Don't yeah. go that route. Remember that creature in the movie that was licking Daniel Jackson? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, there you go. It looks nice. Well, the man can drive it, but <laughs> now, and I don't mean to be this way. And you opened the door to this, so there's perhaps it's all good. That thing had surprisingly horse-like knees for not being a horse. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, <laughs> um, quick trivia note for the movie: those were actually horses that were made up. <laughs> That's yeah. why I'm saying. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. I'm teasing. You're led southwest a little bit for a few hours. And then you turn sharply south. The day passes. Is there anything you want to do along the way? Any land features of note? Beyond filling out the map that I'm drawing as the southerly four, that we're going to head up to the southerly, it's going to fork in the road, we're off the river at this point. I'm just kind of mapping as we go. Not at this point. Okay. Then I'm just drawing a map south, drawing a line south, drawing a line All more right. south. Um, so, uh, Red? Yes, sir. Um, we're going to have this kid situation, and um, I'm not exactly sure where we've got to bring the kids back. Um, oh, yeah, where the doctors promised that we would go save these children and bring them back. Right, that yeah. one. That one. Oh, that we would try, which means do. We do. Um. With that, we're, you know they've given away more things since we've left. They're not here. We said stay in one place. <laughs> so what they've, I'm sure they've done is they've run off to somewhere interesting. It's mm-hmm. going to be interesting at the very least. I'm sure that they've promised, I don't know, a couple of battleships. That would make sense on a planet with no water. That's probably what they promised. I have no idea at this point. Um, but we probably need to close circle. You know what I mean? Circle the wagons, close ranks here relatively quickly and be ready for... 
anything that might have been promised, given away, you know, whatever oh, the case may be. Totally agree, sir. That's why I hope, hoped we could requisition the teddy bear backpack leashes. Yeah. So we're going to have to make that happen. We will do our best. Excellent. All right. We continue south. All right. Into the second day where you reach a fork in the road. On your guides it. carry on straight south. <clears throat> Does that mean we take the right fork or the left fork? No, it means you go straight south. Oh, we don't take either fork. We just off into the sand. Correct. Well, that's new and unique. All right, yay. All right, well, there here we go. We're good. All right, diddy bopping on along. Not sure. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to point down one side of the road. and They point at the mountain in the distance. Mo? And I point at the mountain. They smile. I point at the other fork in the road. They point at the mountain. I point at the other fork in the road. They look confused. What, what's down there? They make hand gestures. <laughs> then I'm going to engage in some American translation. What's down there? <laughs> four. <laughs> no, four's over there. Uh. What is this, three or two? Nothing. Fantastic. All righty, let's keep on keeping on. Okay. We're going to have fun. You make great and determined present. uh, We're making great time. We don't know where we're going, (laughs) but we're we're making great time. Heading straight into the desert. Awesome. Is there anything you want to do? Been to the desert on a horse with no name. Yeah. They don't have names. So they don't have names. Um, <laughs> make sure that the weaponry is functional and cleaned and clear. Not necessarily cleaned and disassembled, but functional. And this is <laughs> we're headed straight south into the desert, which I'm not really sure they probably did. But uh, my spidey sense is tingling, so I want to make sure that I am quote unquote prepared. All right. Well, sir, we can talk. Yeah. Not with them. <laughs> They know four, and they know uh, take my wife, please. And they got a couple of Groucho Marx references, and that's all. Eh, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. You so far won this trip. I'm just telling you. All things considered. I got nothing. Yeah, you got laid. Well. And, and there's that. <laughs> so we head over the dunes. Okay. You head over the dunes. Give me a roll on a D10, please. Both of you. Not even worth it. Ten. (laughs) Good for him. You're noticing a little bit more glass. Sir. Yes? Point at the ground. Seems like there's glass down there or some some sort of weird rock. (laughs) Okay. I have noticed no glass to this point. No, it's, it's sort of a very subtle transition here. Okay. I but po- when you point out it to when he it's pointed out to you, yeah, that's that's glass. How odd! I ask our guides. I point to it and ask, "What is it?" They look at you blankly okay. as I look at them. I hop down, pick up a piece of the glass, and give it the scrunchy. What is this face? They gesture all around. I point to myself, Covington. I point to the glass, and I make the, what is this called, face? Amek. Amek? Amek? Amek. Okay, Amek. Well, I'm going to tuck some Amek in my pocket, and we'll go from there. Is it, it, it anything odd? Look at, I mean, uh, does this look like lightning strike? Does this look like a lava flow? Does this look like, and while my character might not know this, I have read some of the, uh, I have read some of the reports. Space laser? I don't know. What might have caused the glass that we, is it in a radio blast pattern or is it just sort of like there? It's just there. Okay. All right, then. All right. So like there's a giant circle of glass here and a giant circle of glass there. And a, oh, look, a, a strafing run. Oh, sorry. All right. You camp again for the second night. Okay. Anything you're going to do? We're going to set up watch. I got first watch, sir. Four hour shifts? Sure. I don't know why I'm jumpy. I'm real jumpy right now, and I couldn't tell you why. Yeah. Alien world, don't know the people leading us. Been Can't talk to the natives. Probably lost. Probably. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. Hey, we got glass, though. Hey, we got <laughs> a, a mech. Look at that. 
<laughs> so that when the uh, natives tell me to go pound a mech, I know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> Great. Okay. All righty. We go to sleep. Well, I go to sleep. He's on watch. And then he's going to wake me in four hours, and we're going to keep doing that. Now he's rolling. Beer. Give me a roll on a D10. <clears throat> hmm. Eight. Okay. Nothing happens. <laughs> Good. All right, all right. That's fine. That's uh, you beautiful. wake him halfway through the night. All right. Give me a roll. Me? Yes, on a D10, please. Eight. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> That's an encouraging sound. <laughs> the end of your shift comes. The natives aren't really moving around. They're sleeping? Because they're asleep? Yeah. Okay. Apparently. All right. Still sleeping. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to wake up Callan. Okay. All righty. Are the knights of the of the link that it would be another duration of watch like are we going back to bed is it a 36 hour evening that i'm unaware of or no something? no 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 it's it's morning okay do the pack animals wake up they're awake okay i go over and uh, nudge 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 to our guides okay uh it's just a heap of clothes <laughs> so something what? went from full human size to no, full no human clothing size or there's what do you mean some of their clothing is wrapped around some sand Okay. Um, can we see if there's footprints leading away? <laughs> it's yeah. Is this nope. is this both bodies? Both. They they sort of camouflage themselves away from you. And they're gone. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there shelter from the sun in our present location? No. Uh, in the eye, is there anything within eye shot that looks like it's you have the mountain to yourself as a prominent land feature. Uh, but we couldn't use that as uh, shelter, correct? You don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. is it tall enough that we could use it for shelter from the sun? Well, if not if you're standing on top of it. Obviously. Are you asking if there's caves or anything? You don't no, know. I'm asking yeah. if, if I might not be standing on top of it, but might be standing next to it, could I use it to block the sun, or is it a foothill that, gee, even if you're in the lowest valley, you're like, oh, the shadow's only going to come up to your knee. I see. It is a substantial rock formation, but you don't think it would hide you for more than an hour or two, presuming you were on the right side of it. Right, and we'd, and we'd potentially have to either move around or be exposed for a, an extended period of time. Yes. Um, understood. The uh, okay, that's where we were headed, correct, sir? Um, theoretically, mm-hmm. I don't know where these jack wagons went, but neither do I. Um, well, we have an opportunity to either travel south towards that formation or to head back north for a day, camp, ration our water, use our tarp in the morning as a dew trap to re- resupply our water and go from there. With no compass or navigation. I say we go there, sir. Well, cool. true, fair enough, but we do know we do have compasses, right? North, you south. You do apparently have two full... Um, they're bags of water. Right. Strapped to the sides of the animals. Okay. I'm going to check them. Have they been messed with? They're full of sand. Of course they are. These mother... That's fine. Collar or blankets for everyone. (laughs) We have to keep going forward, sir. We won't make it back. Trusting, trusting, trusting. Okay. Um, How far does the mountain to the south appear to be away? Possibly four hours. All right. Let's start. Uh, let's move on. We're bringing the pack animals. Saddle right. up. The 
pack animals seem to be adapted to this, but even they're complaining. It's very hot. Mm -hmm. Desert. Um, Is there a way to hook up shade with the clothes from the, the whatever was left? We're not leaving the clothes from the people that filled them with sand to create their dent. We're going to use every piece of fabric and every, you know, we've got all of that. You might be able to fashion a turban or some sort. Okay. Uh, headbands. Okay. All right. You journey hour by hour through the blistering desert sun. Temperatures reaching, mm, at a guess, maybe 110, 115. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? At least it's a dry heat. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's, maybe, it's a dry heat. Totally different. Shut up. It's hot. <laughs> So is an oven. I don't. I don't like to walk around in those either. Me either. I'm half Jewish. Anyway. Oh, hi there. Growing progressively thirstier. Mm-hmm. But you do reach the mountain. Okay. Caves. Doctors. Nothing. <laughs> of course not. No caves. No doctors. No nothing. Nothing at all. Sweet. I think we sandstone. Did. Well, at least we can potentially dig out a shelter. Of sorts. It's... Yeah. Maybe we're on the wrong side. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> um, all right. Well, why don't you go uh, make a quick circle <laughs> of the mountain? Tell us if we're on the wrong. Are we on the shady side of the mountain? <laughs> Not around noon. <laughs> right. Is that an order, sir? Do you want to wait? I'll are we, are we at the hottest part of the day, or is this... Yeah, you've traveled about four hours, five hours since you woke up. Yeah, it's about noon. Because surprisingly, noon is not the hottest hour. Typically, between 3.30 and 4.30 is the hottest hour of the day. If you're giving us noon, then we'll wait. If right, you're so going to go, no, no, you wait for four, and it's even friggin' right, hotter than it was before. For the studio audience, they're seared instead of pan fried. Ooh. <laughs> means hey, the, means searing the locks in the juices. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Okay. Sir, <laughs> sir, I'll check the perimeter. I'll come back. <laughs> Great. Then I'm going to lash down one of the animals so that it's not going to take off on me, and I'm going to sit underneath it, or at least in its shade. If it starts to rain, move. Maybe. What is it? Thank you. It's a trumpet. Um, There's an in the room. And we have... While tempting, they do retain water. So. The... Um, what did we sleep in? Sleeping bags or just tarps? Sleeping bags. Sleeping bags. Excellent, because the inner liner of that can be used as a dew trap in the morning. Hooray! Yes, I did read the survival manual, sir. I can whip it out. I think it's page 47, but I could be incorrect. That might be the Army Survival Manual, which it probably is. I don't know if the Air Force has something like that for its, for its people or not. The ambient humidity here is not encouraging. <laughs> Regardless, it's better than dead. So unless, I don't know, like I said, maybe the Air Force doesn't have a survival guide. So are you going to lick his know. sleeping bag or his... No, I'm going to lick my own. He's going to lick his, and that's how we're going to hopefully get any sort of moisture come nightfall to, to sunup. But anyhow, we're going to wait for the perimeter search before we go that far. All right. Which way are you going to search? I'm going to do exactly what I said. Red, well, how would you answer that question, sir? I'm going to start going around the mountain with one of the pack animals. I'll go left. Going around the mountain. Going around the mountain. <laughs> Okay, you come to a series of foothills okay. that lead off further west. There's no particular sign of civilization. You don't see any animal life. You circle around to the southern side of the hill. Mm-hmm. Again, nothing to be seen. It's a mixture of sand dunes and scorched earth. You circle back around to the east. Question, how high up the mountain are you going? Or are you just circling around the base of it? Uh, I'd be at the base of the mountain if I saw anything interesting. I would venture up. Not that high, but I would venture up no more, no, no higher than midway. You don't see anything from the base of the mountain. 
And you circle back around to the north, where you encounter the captain right where you left him. Okay. Sitting underneath a pack animal. How, how, how much time has passed? <sighs> Average travel time. I would say the best part of five hours. Jeez. Okay. To go um, around the mountain? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. While he, right after he leaves, I'm going to hit the radio and see if I can raise Turnus. Ooh, no. I'm going to hit the radio and see if I can raise anyone, including the doctors. No. Okay. Can I get any spot checks above the base of the mountain at all? Or do I have to, I have to venture up there with the pack animal? You can venture up there with or without the pack animal, but you're not going to see anything up, you know, from the ground. Okay. Hmm. Well, then, I'm coming back to you and say, and say essentially, sir, I've looked around the entire base of the mountain and haven't found anything. We either need to leave or we need to go up the mountain, one of the two. Okay. What time is it now? It's approaching 5 p.m., Presuming the daytime is relatively the same. It seems to be more or less a 24-hour cycle, give okay. or take a few minutes. Okay. Then we're coming up on evening. Yes. Straight up the northern side of the hill or the mountain. If we go straight up the, if I go straight up the northern face, I say, I'm, I'm going to take a look right at this face. See if I see anything. Okay. I might go a little west, a little east. Um, and then I'll come back down and tell you if I, if I run into anything at all. Yes, sir. I will set up camp. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Luck is with you. You managed to make it most of the way up the mountain. It's a fairly gentle slope, although it's high. Off to the east, you spot a shimmer that you're fairly certain must be either the river or some kind of body of water. Okie dokie. At this point, you are both desperately dehydrated. The headache has set in. Desperately dehydrated? We didn't have enough water for an extra day? No. Okay, well then we slaughter one of the pack animals and drink its blood. We are no longer desperately dehydrated. It's salty, but it will do. You bet it will. (laughs) Well, if you said the words desperately dehydrated, um, there is a bladder full of urine. I'm sure it holds water. And while uh, it pretend, depending on salinity, it will be uh, sterile. And if we get desperately dehydrated again, you can keep that look on your face. I'll drink up. Hey. Better than dying. Better than dead. And I got two special bullets for <laughs> four and his friend. <laughs> so yeah, four. Yeah, and I'm going to go bang, 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 bang. Oh, look, four. <laughs> and that's how that's going to go. Uh, I come back down the hill. Uh, after And slaughter, we drink. And we... Hey, cheers. Now, since these things are a little bit bigger than pack animals, do we... Uh, I'm going to reserve any of the... Rest of the uh, blood for later, if there are if there's extra to be had. As I'm such. going to presume that you slaughter one mm-hmm. with taking due precautions so the other one doesn't run off. Precisely. Blood Reusing cool. one of the bags, you are able to capture some of the blood. Okay. Though by no means a full bag. Oh no 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 no! That's fine. I wouldn't expect that. But we're keeping the other one for when we're severely dehydrated again. And then we have to do this whole thing one more time. And it's okay. And as the sun sets on our noble adventures, we call this session to an end. Thank you for another episode of SG-10. Tune in next time. And as always, you'll hear from us real soon. Thank you for listening. And that's it tonight for us on the Gaming with Scott Presents Season 1 of Stargate SG-10. You can always send us an email at gamingwscott at gmail.com or catch us on Twitter. Joshua Jackson is at ActionJack853 and me, Scott T, at GamingWScott. You can always find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GamingWScott. This is a Southgate Media Production. 
Remember, we all represent Earth every time we venture out into the world and beyond. Be the example you want to see. And as always, you'll be hearing from us real soon.